What are you afraid of in robots? Stay tuned. Welcome to Animated Christians. My name is Zeke Matthew, and on this channel, we do original content. Let's discuss robots and why they are so freaky. You see, artificial intelligence is the brain for the robot, but not the robot itself. There is a key difference between the two. Just like our brain would be the one in control of our actions, same can be said for the robot. Now, robots are interesting. And to simply put it, robots are ourselves reflected. In other words, we don't know what we truly look like, but a mirror gives us the impression or idea of what we truly look like. You may be saying, how could robots be a reflection of us? Well, simply because robots are built on human design. Now, what's freaky is some robots can interact with you and remember everything you do. Some don't even need human input. This means they can operate off what they were designed for. And I have come across something even more freaky. As I've said in videos before, I'm an anime fan, which is true. But if you combine robots with anime, and add artificial intelligence in human forms, then you might notice a freaky combination. Now, let's look at some verses. Revelation chapter 13 verse 3 says, One of the beast's heads appeared to have suffered a fatal blow, but its mortal wound had somehow been healed. Amazed at the miracle, and its power, all the earth followed the beast. Revelation chapter 13 verse 12 through 16 says, The earth beast exercises all of the authority given to it by the first beast, and it forces the earth and all its inhabitants to bow down and worship the first beast whose mortal wound had been healed, and the earth beast performs fantastic miracles. Like Elijah on Mount Carmel, it even causes fire to blaze down from heaven to earth for all to see, since it is allowed to perform these miracles in the presence of the first beast. The earth beast deceives the inhabitants of the earth commanding them to make an image of the first beast that had survived the mortal wound inflicted by the sword. And the earth beast was granted permission to breathe into the image and to animate it so that it could even speak. It decreed that those who refused to worship the image of the first beast must be killed. And the earth beast mandates that all humans must carry a mark on their right hands or foreheads, both great and small, both rich and poor, both free and slave. What I want you to see is this beast made an image of itself. And so when we look at this, we think a human being is going to rise to power and rule everything and make an image of himself. But that's not what I see. I think robots are an image of ourselves. In other words, for the beast to be able to deceive the elect, it would have to be more than human beings. And notice how it says breathes into the image as to give it light similar to how God gave life to human with his breath. Freaky, right? But let's take it another step further. What are top scientists saying about robots? If you can find a quote for me and put them in the comments below so I know where this quote comes from. Robots will be human's last creation, just as God created man, and it was 
his last creation. Now, let's look at some verses. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 says, Now let us conceive a new creation, humanity, made in our image, fashioned according to our likeness, and let us grant them authority over all the earth, the fish in the sea, and the birds in the sky, the domesticated animals, and the small creeping creatures on the earth. In Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 says, One day the Eternal scooped dirt out of the ground, sculpted it into the shape we call human, breathe the breath that gives life into the nostrils of the human, and the human became a living soul. Notice an eerie resemblance between the book of Revelation and Genesis? Robots are freaky, are they not? And your last letter is I. In the comments below, tell me what word this spells out. Join me next Friday, where we will reveal the mystery word. And never forget, Animated Christians is just for you.